Hey, beautiful people. I'm looking real popped right now. I'm trying to grow my eyebrows back into their original thickness. So don't mind me too much. And I am wearing a, a dress. Anyway, um, how did we get to this point where just anything goes? Just anything passes for acceptable. How did we get to this point? When I say I do not want to date a man who has children, there's a very specific reason for that. First of all, I'm not dealing with another woman. I'm just that type of chick. There's only one. There's only room for one. It's like Highlander in this motherfucker. There can only be one. And I will be that one. I'm not making concessions. I'm not saying, oh, okay, that's the ba your baby's mother. That will never, ever, ever, never happen. There can only be one. Highlander, okay? Um, two, if I'm involved, directly involved in a child's life, there's certain concessions, again, that I will not make. I'm not going to make them. My children are going to be vegetarian. I don't give a damn what anybody says. They will be vegetarian. There's certain things that I want them to partake in that I'm not going through another woman to figure that out. Let's get into this video. Well, when y'all got a woman who can fix something out to make a statement and say she don't want to date a man because he got kids, y'all got to understand that that statement is coming from a woman who realized she don't been on the short end of a stick. She don't been played by a man with kids and she realized that. But the sad part about it is instead of her reflecting on the quality of her choice in men, she's putting it off on the, oh, I don't want to date a man with kids crap. See, those are the words of a woman who done had a bad experience with a man with kids. I mean, that's the only place her logic can come from, the logic of, I don't want to date a man with kids. It coming, it's stemming from a bad experience with a man with kids. Follow me now. So realistically, her issue isn't with the fact that this man got kids. Her issue lies in the fact that the man she had a bad experience with, he his shenanigan behind the fact that he had kids. See, my thing is, the fact that she had a bad experience with a man with kids had nothing to do with the fact that this man had kids. Her bad experience had everything to do with the content of the character of the man that she chose. So don't put it on the kids talking about, oh, I don't want to date a man with kids. It ain't got nothing to do with the kids, the fact that a woman got her claws in them. So let's be real. Let's talk about the woman. You don't want to date a man with another woman claws in him. It got nothing to do with a man having kids. So y'all women who think y'all can escape getting played by trying to avoid a man with kids need to cut that crap. Cause, because finding a man who don't got kids... That has nothing to do with whether or not you're going to end up number one highland in this motherfucker. See, so whether you come first, that shit ain't determined by whether he got kids or not. Whether you going to come first, whether you're going to be the only one highland in these motherfuckers, is going to be determined by the content of the man character that you choose. A man is gonna have other women in his life, whether they be exes, whether they be co-workers, classmates, neighbors, or whatever. But his involvement with these women is gonna be determined by the content of his character. And likewise, with, it, with the mother of his child, his involvement with her is gonna be determined by the content of his character. A real man's character is gonna automatically set the extent of his involvement with the mother of his children at raising his children, being a father, period, simple. So ladies, y'all don't gotta feel insecure about a man having kids because we all know you can have a man with no kids and still end up side chick number 16. So a man having his hand in another woman's cookie jar or another woman having her claws stuck off in this man isn't determined by whether or not he got kids. A man having his hands in another woman's cookie jar or another woman having her claws in this man is determined by the content of that man's character, ladies. Keep that clear because we all know a man can be childish, but if his character ain't right, you know the way. In closing, I had to just speak on this because every day I am encouraging black men to be fathers. You know what I'm saying? Whether they your kids or not. Black men, be a father to these children. We all, we always talking about we need fathers in the household, fathers in the community. 
Well, it don't take a man to be the biological father to be a father. Let's encourage these men to be fathers, to be God fathers, be a role model. You don't got to be with a woman to do that. See what I'm saying? You don't got to be with a woman to be a child's God father. If you break up with a woman and she already got kids by another man, don't break up with them kids. Remain in them kids' life. Be a father to them kids. Don't listen to these insecure ass women. You know what I'm saying? Who, who want you all to they sell. We, 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 that's a, that's a whole nother level. He ain't got to be screwing this woman to take care of these kids. I'm a father to many, to many kids. I got a sister who's deceased. I got a brother who's deceased. So get what they gave me. They gave me nieces and nephews. I can be a father too. I ain't finna let no insecure ass woman like that girl in that video try to talk me out of that. That's a blessing, man. That's a that's a privilege to be a father to somebody's child. Whether they whether they came out your loins or not. My ex-wife had three kids. I divorced her, but do I divorce the kids? Hell no. I ain't finna let no insecure ass woman like that taught me out of taught me out of these children life. You see what I'm saying? These kids love me. I ain't with their mama. I ain't thinking about their mama, but I love them kids. Regardless of what these women say, oh, I'm on a date man with kids, well, you, well, you gonna have a man with some kids. Cause we gonna start being kids to these children in these communities, whether y'all like it or not. If I see a little kid in my community and ain't no father in that child life, guess what? I'm Godfather. So, ladies, get used to men being fathers. Y'all can say that insecure shit to somebody else, and y'all men, step up to the plate. Be a godfather to somebody's child. Hell, if she gonna get played, she gonna get played whether he got kids or not.